Ah, you look a bad boy. So I just slapped by the time. So, you want to become a big VR chat streamer like Ladle, Ruffle Gator, and even Lolaton. <laughs> Well, here you go, a tutorial on how to set up your very own VR chat stream, as well as some extra notes that you might want to take into account when beginning your streams, such as crashers, the type of streamer that you would like to become, and the community background that will develop around you as your stream begins to develop. Now, before we go on to how to actually set up the stream, you must be equipped with the appropriate gear, the appropriate applications required for streaming VRChat. Of these, you must have VRChat, obviously, either OBS or Streamlabs, Nightbot as an optional music bot, and potentially OpenVRChat, uh, OpenVR Twitch Chat, or OVR Drop, as we'll be going over that and how to use those. Now. Before we begin discussing the more detailed elements of streaming, here is some basic information regarding OBS. So once you've downloaded it from the website, you should direct yourself towards the settings, as you can see here, whereby you should look for the output setting, essentially, and go to your bitrate segment. Now, when you've done this, you need to set this anywhere between 3000 and 2500 kilobytes a second with 3000 being your max that you can go for if you have a very good connection however if you don't then i would suggest sticking to about 2600 2700 overall now as you can see on your screen there are some links to the programs such as OBS Studio, with the download links being in the description. Additionally, there are Streamlabs, as you can see, which is another streaming software, which I would also recommend using if you want a slightly more streamlined software. However, that is entirely up to you. This next one is Nightbot. Now, Nightbot, you can download the software here off of the website as you will see. Nightbot can do many things such as sending messages periodically throughout your stream such as telling people to follow or subscribe etc etc as well as providing people with the ability to do song requests. As you can see there is the download link. Now from here you can then download, go into the program, log in with your Twitch account and then people simply need to do exclamation mark song request and then they can do a song request through the program through a command which you have made there's also extra command options that you can do throughout this program however that is up to you to add more this comes with monster with monster cat songs which will play on loop as an auto playlist during your streams as this provides increased activity for your viewers even when not much is actually going on during stream. Finally, here is OpenVR uh, Twitch Chat which is essentially a program which allows you to view your ch Twitch Chat off of your hand and through this you can then interact better with your chat, interact with the people and uh, overall you can provide a better experience for your viewers with the installation program for with steps for the program there as you can see now finally here is stream elements or OBS stream elements which provides you with both the chat on the side of the OBS launcher itself as well as a list of actions and activities that have taken place during the stream such as follows subscriptions and rage and raids as well as bits as well as providing you with the number of people that are actually viewing the stream overall and giving you better control of your stream. Now, as you can see, my uh, recorded self here is going to show you exactly how to set up your camera in game with the green screen for a bottom right setup whereby you can see yourself. As you can see here, 
I, past self, end up going to my menu, select screen, uh, stream camera. As you can see, waving at screen now. And from here, you will have, if you have installed OVR Drop correctly, you will have your main vision that the chat will see, that viewers will see, and VR chat, the game browser under game window or game display as a selection box on your layout for stream, your overlay, if you will. Now, as you can. As you can see, I am show going to show you all the different modes here of camera modes. So, you have the different modes, which is where you have your stationary camera, whereby it stays in place in a position, but moves with you. So, as you can see, I hold it in place, so it moves. But as I move back, it ends up coming with me. However, you can also do the mode whereby it stays in a space in the world. And this is what I personally use for my Jamcast podcasts, in which you can find on my YouTube channel or my Twitch channel. Links in the description. And from here, you can basically move around and the people who are watching can see all of the different... Um, movements that are going on without having the camera move around you causing disruption for everyone involved. Now, as you can see, what I end up doing is going to the mode green screen or into the mode which is filters and then you move your hand over to green screen. Now as VR chat dictates due to kind of poor handling of the selection system you are forced to be very careful almost pull your hand out a bit to select what you w wish to select now after you've done this just select green screen put it back to where you want it to go set up the positioning and as you can see i will you'll see uh what i end up doing from here now what i end up doing as you can see in obs here is I enter into filters and then I enter into into the green screen segment of it under chroma key. Now through this you can then have it so your avatar appears to be having nothing behind it. Now this is good if you have a regular sort of greyish avatar. Obviously the only issue that really arises from this is if you have a avatar that has any green on it, at which case you use alpha transparency. I do not know personally how to apply that one, however I believe there are tutorials online for that specific background colour. Now as you can see from there, you can then apply it all personally and um, put, yeah, effectively have your stream appear as though you have your vision and then you're looking around. Now to the second aspect, the type of monitor and screen that you're going to have. So is it going to be portrait, landscape, etc. Now, this can be quite a big decision for some streamers, as it may vary depending on what type of stream that they would like to portray. If it's talking to your stream directly a lot or moving around with your camera and you want to have a lot of vision on your avatar itself. Streamers that use this include, uh, well, Ladle for one as a major player. However, if you're looking for inspiration for the more bottom right screen with uh, your avatar in the bottom, that would be someone like Lolathon. Finally, when it comes down to my safety settings when I'm streaming,
I am extremely careful as there has been a strong history of people actively trying to crash people who are streamers if you're not either if you're too big or you're not safe enough or you're not having your safety high enough. As you can see on my settings I actively have only friends visible on their avatars as well as everyone up even trusted users allowing me to selectively choose who and who I cannot have showing their effects to me, reducing any crasher effects or any uh, worldwide effects or sound effects that could TOS me or get me to crash. Additionally, all my visitor settings, when I, especially when I enter public worlds, is set so that I, in some ways, very restricts, very much restricts them as I actively block any communication with them or any potential seeing of their avatar altogether. So there is no risk from anyone creating duplicate accounts that could potentially lead to me having someone trying to TOS me using the N-word on stream. If you find any friends who you feel like would be okay to have their avatar showing on it on stream, you obviously just click on their avatar however and then just say show avatar fully. So if you trust them and you allow them to come onto your stream like that, you can then enable for their um, avatar to appear for everyone to see on your stream. Now, just as a final note, when you're developing your community, that it be it lewd or wholesome or whatever have you, it be Mimi, etc. The type of people that will come to your stream are based around the persona that you put out there. Now this might seem like an obvious fact, however there's a lot of people out there who don't consider this. And as such, even if you're putting on an act or a persona in some way, if you're a VTuber through VRChat, um, as a mute who puts on that sort of cutesy persona, you will attract that sort of people who like that sort of thing. Um, again, this is very obvious, however, it's just an extra note for anyone who isn't aware. Now, finally, I would just like to say thank you for all who have watched. I will be leaving all of the software links in the description box below. If you have any further questions, do just drop them below, I'll try and answer as many as possible. However, if it is regarding actually installing or doing overlays, the details regarding that can be found either on the software itself or if it's about specific overlay settings, there are various different YouTubers who cover this aspect of streaming for people to look into and give them a better idea of how to set up their stream. Now, finally, I would just like to say thank you for all who have watched to the end. If you enjoyed, subscribe, hit that bell. If you liked, like it. If you dislike, dislike it. And that is me, Jamstop, signing off. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. <laughs> Can you guys not Can in you this guys elevator, please? Except, please? Okay. <laughs>